where I said we think we're in for a treat of this series. I think we definitely are in game two here. This is going to be some exciting stuff. Yeah, I mean, uh, good rest from both sides. I feel like both sides got what they want. And uh, now it's going to come down to the play. Both teams smoke, TP from a Prophet, like a very standard stuff. Plays both wards and let's see if Ari uh, has a cheeky ops. He's not going to go too deep. I'll just play some normal ops from the smoke. And OG is... He, they're going to maybe find someone here. Ninja Penguins need to be scary. They get the ops down. They're not close to anyone here. Maybe perhaps apart from low skill, he's hanging around his tier one tower though. He's gonna be fine. Low skill, just cutting the trees. Not many people do. This is one thing I learned from Dahak, the famous Russian carry. That if you play like against melee heroes, you cut the trees in the lane, so like they cannot do the sneaky run around. Is speaking of the cut the trees, I mean, Ari also going for a coiling blade here, but that's to help him out against the, the sprout there of the Nature's Prophet. Just rotate in, but the horn sound. Would you actually? They're gonna try for multiple rows. Alex? Did they get the third one? Oh, they've pulled Alex back there with the, the suplex, the dispose. And they get the kill. First uh, blood will go to BZM. Nice gold advantage there. Will not actually purchase the bottle. Did have enough for him. Yeah, he went for the Blightstone. I mean, you love to see it if you're OG fan. You hate to see it if you're a Ninja Penguins fan. First blood for the enemy mid laner. It kinda always feels a bit unfair. So on the top lane, they're having themselves Ari here on Marcy. I mean, Marcy quite strong during the early stages of the game. I mean, especially with Unleash and teamed up with Darks here as well. Who's going to place Ion Shell? Do you think we'll see some action on this top lane? Because usually when when Darks here is together, paired with maybe perhaps a support, it's it. It's kind of a little bit passive, but when, when you've got yourself someone like Marcy, who loves to jump in, you're going to utilize the Iron Shell then. We're going to see some action. Bottom lane? But action on the bottom lane. Like... Like... This lane of uh, Yuragi and Seb, they're always super aggressive level 1, and they're going to get the level 2 faster. They're going to make another goal. Lane break is ready. Oh, that Ace might be it, kill. But One more physical attack. Oh, the Blood Grenade gets it. It goes to the hands of Seb. Nice two shoots there of the unstable concoction and acid spray, especially underneath that tower. There's low skill also being poked here by Ari with the creep wave hiding behind this tier one tower. I mean, already 1k advantage for the side of OG. I mean, their lanes are going as as good as they want them to, you know. Two kills bottom lane, first level for the mid lane, and the top lane, Darkseer is getting through it like first level on two, which is like very. But it's the breaking point for him, right? If he gets through this, gets level 3, then double shell on 2 melees, they, they, they're gonna be able to even pressure top. So, OG, very happy with how this is going. Oh my gosh, I'm just looking at BZM as well. 10 last hits, 7 denies against the Meepo. Denied him 7 last hits so far, and it's only 2 minutes in. That Blightstone really paying off. Yeah, unfortunately for copy, but still, there's some timings for the side of, of Ninja Penguin, especially level 4 mid and level 3 top. They can maybe fight back with the with the Luna Mange. Draggy having to be careful bottom here, not to overextend while Seb is pulling the wave. At which Merlin now is going to actually deboard that camp. Those got a concoction coming out. He won't be able to get it off. Yuragi is going to stun himself, and in comes Merlin with the TP. Ooh, that's a huge curry. Oh my god. Oh, look at the curry. Oh my god. Wow, that curry was stacked with resources. Oh, Lotus on the side, on the side of OG, but a very nice play by Spazia to get, or more like a blunder by Seb. So it's going to be a breeder for them bottom, or will it be? Oh, Vaji is okay. 
They don't have themselves an unstable concoction. Costs quite a lot of mana here for your Aggie. Mid lane, low four on copy. Oh yeah, with the Earth Bind now, the Meepo clone. There's Get themselves the kill top there on Luna. It will be a trade though. As they might actually get themselves two kills. Thanks to the Ion Sal usage there on top of Ari. They will indeed. OG. Worthy trade here on the top. Taking themselves both the support and the carry. I mean, he just the level 3 Doctor with the Marcy. Like, you kind of have to fight it back, but it's very powerful. You know, Darkse turns from a creep to a beast. Once he's from low two to a three, they use it perfectly, and they get lane control in all three lanes going going very well. Oh, copy, moving bottom with the Meepo clone. It's coming forward onto Seb. Might actually catch him with the go go for Yuragi here. They will attempt to do so, spearing him into the Sprout. Here comes the second Meepo concoction being cooked up. They're actually going to stun the Meepo there and attempt to turn it nice around. Micro. Be able to. Lovely stuff there from Copy, though Seb attempting to take down Merlin. One more physical attack will be needed, but Merlin will survive. Sprouts and Spear as well. Seb getting pretty low, slowed down there by the God's Rebuke. But nice gank there from Copy on the Meepo. I mean, this is the power of Meepo mid that we haven't seen in the user when we when we watch Meepo. Like, Meepo, minute four, like, it starts to rotate a lot and low skill's gonna get more. Oh my gosh. Yeah. He does have the movement speed though, but so does Whisper with the Surge. Staying on top of the Luna with the Ion Shell. Getting another kill here on OG on this top lane. The Starks here and the Marcy starting to become a pain in their backside now. The Ninja I mean, just insane offensive they're potential. Gonna for, they're going to go for Venge as well. There's no room of escape here. As they will find Venge as well with the Ion Shell, but can they get Whisper? Yes, they can. Thanks to a rotation there of Merlin with the TP. Ari is going to actually rotate to the mid as they find themselves copy underneath this middle tier one tower from the rotation yeah. of Seb. And they're going to save the, the Siege Creep. I mean, this is a disaster. Huge rotation by Seb to the mid lane. They're going to get copy plus a tower damage plus a rune. This, this, is, this, this is insane. What's the rune? And it's going to be a shield rune. Oh no. It's it's it smells like a disaster. Yeah, it's not it's not looking good. It's BZM on the aggressive once again diving this tier one tower. <laughs> As Merlin will fall by the hands of BZM with thanks to that flame god. Now they'll attempt to go onto Copy, who's going to die once again on this Meepo from the fire remnants of BCM. Oh, oh. Seb will pick it up there with the Firefly, dominating spree for him. Though Ari might die here from the hands of Alex. All oh, the Dispose will actually jump Whoa. back in and Alex will take him out. No more mana though on Seb with Merlin rotating in. Very nice as they find the kill. Double kill for Alex. Magic Missile there on top of BZM will stop that shield rune. Attempted to TP away. Where's another cancel? They won't have it. Lucent Beam was on cooldown as well as Magic Missile. But lovely turnaround from Ninjas. Ninjas fighting back. There's two kills they needed so much. I mean, OG, again, a bit over committing. You know, they, 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 that play mid with, with the, so many kills, like, and the tower, it's like sort of a game breaking play. Oh, but no. with, with beating two kills back, they gave a, they gave a, you know, watching, I mean, it's just for that. I mean, it just, sometimes is the life. When your lane goes that poorly, like, you have to try to fight back, and, like, usually the pulse fires will be the one that uh, tank the deaths that have to be gave, uh, given, you know? Oh OG is going to take some kills, but it's best if they're killing the, the Venge. You know? We've seen Seb taking a stack here from Ninja Penguins and D Warding as well, taking the Watcher. He is controlling this half of the map right now. Amplified damage room for BZM2. Maybe perhaps want to look for more here. They do have themselves a nice they Observer Ward place here from Alex. So Got vision of Ari and Seb and BCM as well hanging around here. They just see how aggressive OG are being at eight minutes in the game near the tier twos. 
OG just kind of not over committing there, farming the camps close to the side of Ninja Penguin and already with a 4k lead at the end of the day. Yuragi's gonna get a bit. Though. From Merlin, as the arena comes out, they'll attempt to try and find the kill onto they Yuragi. It? Low skill rotating in two. They will find the kill with thanks to the wave of terror, but in comes OG. They want to attempt to turn it around. Merlin got along with low skill as well as Vazja. Three lost, potentially four, as they'll attempt to hunt down Alex underneath this tier one. The magic missile is there, but BZM will get the kill with that flame god. Triple kill for him. Huge by OG. I mean, nice attempt from the Ninja Penguins to bring some heat, use their spells. Use this arena, but OG very quickly to react, and they get a lot from that. They lose their alchemist, but both Ember, BZM, and Whisper on the dark sir, they, they they just they get so much out of it. Yeah, very nice. I mean, it was a great usage of their rotations from Ninja Penguins there, and it was really good to take down Yuragi. The rotations from OG was pretty good as well. As now, look at this, they go for more. Coming forward with the surge, they get Vazia with the Searing Chains locked in place. Nowhere to run. Killing spree for the Dark Seer. Hey, it is the thing with, in between tier 1 and tier 2 teams. It's like the tier 2 teams play okay or like decent, just the tier 1s play a, a little bit faster. So even if you're doing something that usually works out and it's, it, it, it's like fine, like. Against the tier one teams like OG, you you just if you're even tiny bit slow, you get exposed. And mid lane, the oh, the for Alex, yeah, with the surge and the rebound takes down Alex. Kill for Ari here. It's now also dewarding this observer there as well upon the cliff, just making nin ninjas completely blind now. Yeah, the they're overtaking the whole map. Look at the position. Look at this line of OG heroes. Behind the they're tier two in ten minutes. They're literally taking all the camps ninjas ever wanted. So not only killing them, but also taking their resources. As regarding net worth wise, all three cores of OG. 1,500 gold ahead of Luna. It's at 4.5 right now. It's struggling to try and find some farm. And we've got BZM again on the aggressive. Attempted to take down Alex. The swap is there. Alex He's makes gonna five with the shield. Ooh, nice dodge. Not get the magic missile Beautiful. off and BZM gets the kill. Beautiful stuff by, uh, by BZM and another kill i mean he just we said it in the draft the ninja penguins have a lot of different things but one thing they're lacking is control for the pesky guys and ember spirit is one Seven thousand two hundred that worth on bzm wow who's that is that shiva's god coming for whisper as well it is indeed 12 minute Shiva's God once again, Milan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, uh, uh, the Shiva's God's getting out of control now. There are too many people get. Oh no, Alex is going to be victim of a gang from OG once again. He's thanks. decimated. There's now a TP attempt there from. Oh, able to. Oh, wait. Oh, he didn't. He didn't poof away. Uh oh. That's what I'm talking about. I, I think Copy was meant to poof away with. <laughs> it's close to the other clone, but... Didn't a, a, a bit unfortunate. He just probably misclicked or something. It's gonna be another two kills for the OG, but... It is what it is, you know, man. They, they're trying to get some farm on the map from the side of Ninja Penguins, but OG is just uh -oh. not giving them a breather. Merlin's uh, gonna Merlin. run into Yuragi, who comes from the high ground, stops him from teleporting with that unstable concoction, and that is a dead nature's profit. They'll just leave it to Yuragi, who gets the kill. Some extra gold for him for his radiance. Just look, look where low skill is. Look, look where low skill's having to farm here. It's meanwhile they've got themselves Alex again. He's just, he can't he can't get a break here, Milan. He's been cyber bullied in this game. 
I mean, you, you just wherever you leave the base, unless it's like look at the very low skills as you said, it's like you're gonna get gone. On. And right now they they don't have anything to fight with. 11k down at minute 13. It's it's looking like a stomp, unfortunately. Low skill attempting to farm up here on the camps below, but is nowhere near a matter. I mean, it's only 13 minutes in, but. It, it, it feels like the game is so much further with how much impact OG are having right now. I mean, they, they're not stopping, you know. The the, 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 the tier 1 teams, they're, they're good with in almost any situation. And if they're having like this amount of lead, they're not gonna... Oh, bottom lane, they're not oh, fight for this wisdom rune. Oh, doesn't oh, get the wisdom. wisdom rune there either. Doesn't have enough mana for Arena. Now, does, there's the ones. The arena still available, but low skill's gonna fall as well as Alex. Everyone caught in the arena. Vaz is gone as well as Copy. That is four dead. It's barely losing a stretch of HP. It's only Seb who's about a quarter of HP down as they took four within and an enemy arena too. What is the other option? They try to fight back. They bring everybody to this wisdom because they, they, they cannot keep giving away everything but at the end of the day with this amount of lead on the side of OG they're just gonna win almost any 5v5 fight regardless of how it starts you know 95 percent oh my win probability gosh. it's 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 looking very grim for the side of ninja penguins yeah it's looking rough I mean, at least we have a vessel on Merlin don't know if he can actually utilize that it's just the fact that OG are always together here they can't seem to get a pick-off. The only pick-off that they got once was on Yuragi, but they rotated with that anyway. OG know they're strong together, they're playing together. Ninja Penguins, they just need a breather here. I mean, if they can get around about five minutes without OG jumping on top of them, then they could potentially pull it around. Oh no, it's Vazia being found out again here. The spear will lock Ari into the tree. TP attempt now. TP cancel is there from Ari with the dispose. They find the kill on Mars. I'm a little bit short on the wars. I'm trying to think what can they do on the side. Oh, they're going for Alex now. Look at this. It's non stop Milan. Jumps onto Alex there with the unstable concoction. That's a lot of damage. There's a lot the of damage. Dyer's <laughs> a glyph. I mean, this tier 2 tower is going to fall if they so want. They're going to go for more ways and let's get another unstable concoction. I don't know if Yuragi did that just because he wanted to snatch those creeps or... I mean, they don't care anymore. Like, they <laughs> know the amount of advantage they have. They just need to press scoreboard and see this XP difference. But Lowski at least is doing what he can, farming the enemy jungle. But his base is gonna get threatened right here. You know. Can they? Can they do something? Like, cause it's a very early base go. So with with the glyph power can do a lot of damage. Can they, can they do something against this? You can even try. With 200 gold off an Agnims on copy on the Meepo here, trying to farm this mid lane, but Yuragi's coming in with a concoction ready to take down the Meepo, so that Agnims is going to be further prolonged as he is found and taken out by the hands of BZM and Yuragi. At least he gets to finish the eggs and because of the low level, he's going to be able to, to be ready for the base defense if OG decides to push top again. Oh, he did, he did get the point booster there just in time. Oh, and another blink and unstable concoction. It connects onto two and the flame break, bringing them back. Never swaps there, but Alex is still going to fall nonetheless, even through the arena. Vajja will fall by the hands of Marcy with the unleash. Ari piling into him there. Especially picking Ari's up an armor. Ari piling <laughs> with the armor. Oh, not this support, Marcy. As they will find themselves a top set of racks there. Very well played, and they have themselves the Guardian Greaves there too. Oh, they found low skill. TP cancel with the VAC. And that's a dead Luna there too. Really trying to farm up the lasso utilized. Seb on a killing spree. We're pinging the Meepo as well. Yuragi pinging 
Copy on the map. I want to go for this Meepo. I'm charging up the unstable concoction. I want to find him, but he has been able to move away. I'll just clear the rest of the creeps. Copy's surely not going to go with this on his own. His, his, his Meepo clones are there. Vazia still doesn't have a blink yet, only a Vladimir's. So he can't get the element of surprise with an arena and copy has been found again within the triangle taken out within mere seconds down for 30. See to go for the the second set of racks here sieging the tier three. It's really not looking good. I mean, what can ninja penguins do here? Is there really anything at all, Milan? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be real here, man. If they don't die the front thing. Oh Whoa! my gosh, the that, arena that, that, that the spear there as well. They do take down Yuragi, but in return, Alex falls. They find themselves Merlin too. Low skill, cool taken out by the hands of Ari with the Unleashed. The buyback there from Merlin. Alex once again, melting from the fire damage of both Ember and the Batrider as copy that Mega Meepo, but the damage is just too much for the Mega Meepo to sustain. It's locked GG. into. GG is called and game two very, very fast there compared to game one. OG, they will take the series here. Game two will go to them and they will proceed further in the upper round. Yeah, I mean, game two as big of a stomp as you get.